I want to show you a very curious function class where um, it's a one parameter family of functions with an infinite VC dimension, which nicely proves that the VC dimension does not equal the number of parameters of the function class. Okay, so again, it's one parameter family of functions, infinite VC dimension. So I want to show it to you um, by doing an example. So I'm going to construct a data set using this interesting method. So I have to, I have to come up with not just a function class, which it's going to be, by the way, sine functions, okay? And the frequency of the sine function is the single parameter of this family of functions. Um, now, I not only have to come up with the family of functions, but I have to come up with the configuration. You know, where am I going to put the data points so that I can shatter them? Okay, so I've, I'm have i going to create 13 data points. You can create as many data points as you want. Um, I, I don't know why I chose 13, whatever. Um, so, so I have 13 data points and I get to label them however I want. And so I just put some random labels in there just to see how this thing works. And now here are the positions of the points. They're in one dimension. So these are points literally on the real line. And take a look at where their positions are. It's like 2 pi times 10 to the negative i. So it's like 2 pi and then there's a bunch of zeros in front of it. You can see that. <laughs> so it's 2 pi 6.2831, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so these points get closer and closer to zero, but they're spaced in this weird way, like they get close, kind of closer and closer together, closer and closer to zero, okay? All right, so those are the x's. And then I calculate this value t. So t, um, it, there, this is a this is the formula for t, and if you think about it, this number is really really big because it's like ten to the i, and one of those i's is thirteen. So this number is really big. I'm just going to write it in MATLAB code right there, and it and for this data set, it ends up being something like five times ten to the twelfth. But if you make the data set even slightly bigger, you add more and more powers of ten. So it, this t gets really big, and the the t is the one parameter for the family of functions. In fact, one over t, um, it's this is it's uh, one over t is actually the wavelength of the sine wave. Okay, so this is my <laughs> this is this is the this is the function which will which will perfectly classify my data. Okay, so it's sine of t x, where t is that five times ten to the twelfth thing. And so interestingly. When I create the sine wave, that's like, I mean, look, think about it like the one over five, one over five times 10 to the 12th, that's the wavelength of this. So it's, and if you try to plot it, it's just a, you know, if you plot it in black, the whole screen will turn black until you get down to like, you know, 10, the scale of 10 to the negative 12th or something like that. Anyway, so if I actually compute sine, the sine of sine of tx, Believe it or not, it's exactly the same as y, and I've just duplicated y there so that you can see what it, you can see that it actually duplicates it. It's really amazing. I mean, you can try this, you know, pick any data set you want, try this formula, it really works, and it's sort of shocking that it does. But in any case, this is, this is exactly the uh, one parameter family of functions that has an infinite VC dimension. No matter how you place those labels y, um, then you can always use the formula for x and the formula for t to get a function sine, t, uh, sine of tx that perfectly classifies that data, okay? Which goes to show you that, indeed, the VC dimension is not the number of parameters. Thanks.